Yo and hello everybody, Mike here, Baseball Collector, and I am finally going to give you guys <clears throat> the final resolution of what happened with, uh, you know, a couple of weeks ago I did a rant, I guess it, maybe a couple of weeks ago, about something that happened to me regarding Project 2020. Um, by the way, if you're having a hard time understanding me or hearing me, my voice is kind of gone. Uh, I did a live stream last night with Ty and Jeff uh, on our channel here on Binge Clear, and uh, I told them the story of why I have a uh, no voice. So if you haven't gone and seen that, I tell the whole story. It's a great Norman story about the ranch and Julie and everything, and it was an ordeal, let me tell you. So the first 15 minutes or so, I'm talking about that story on the live stream last night. So I encourage you, if you want to know what's going on or get some idea of that go watch that uh it was crazy <clears throat> but what i want this video to be about is kind of the process that i went through with what happened to me through ebay returned item and project 2020 and all that kind of stuff so re quick recap may 24th of this year i sell a clemente natural clemente uh for 359 dollars on may 24th get an email from the guy like, when are you shipping this? And I'm like, tomorrow. And I shipped it the next day. It arrived. I received positive feedback. All that all looks hunky dory. I took that money from my PayPal, bought some additional cards for my collection that I wanted long term. And all seems well. Fast forward to uh, early June, I guess it was. I can't remember the date exactly. It doesn't matter. I get a return request from the guy whose name, by the way, is Victory underscore Cards, Victory Cards, and his real name is Mitch Fortner, and he lives in Durham, North Carolina. So he requests a, re a refund, and his request reason, I have that right here. Oh, June 9th, he requested a return, because there were scratches on the case and the packaging. Again, you're not buying the case, you're not buying the packaging, but hey, you're buying the card itself. Don't get me started on that. I make that argument. In fact, I thought I had a loophole. I thought I had a way out of this because I was pissed. I mean, I was like, are you kidding me? Um, the price of that card is now 125 maybe, 150 And so it's not that it's worthless, but I had sold it because I wanted to use that money to buy some other cards. So I'm angry and I'm pissed and I call the guy out on blowout. I uh, blow out forums. I talked with eBay. They were completely no help because they said the item was not described. And that's one of those things that, you know, you can, uh, I guess you could put in your description that all cases might be scratched or might be the packaging might be damaged. <laughs> and then they can't say you didn't tell me, <clears throat> but I guess you could do that. Well, what I did was I offered to send him a new packaging, Tops 2020, you know, the black packaging that it comes in, looks like this, and a new one touch, magnetic one touch, to put his card in so that he could have his item. And eBay, from what I was talking with eBay about, if you do that and they don't respond, then you've offered to replace the damaged item and they will they will render a a uh, decision in my favor as the seller. That's not true. <laughs> that is not true at all. The buyer did not respond in the, there's a basically a chain of communication between me and eBay, me and the seller, and it's all documented and everything. So if that happened behind the scenes, maybe it did. I don't know where the buyer refused that, but turns out that didn't work. So they sent him, they said, sorry, we've ruled in favor of the buyer here. We're sending them a return label and the card got returned to me. Well, it got returned to me and here it is. This packaging is perfect. There is nothing, no scratches, no nothing. You look at the case, it's perfect. There are no scratches, it is perfect. So basically the guy lied and said that it wasn't that it wasn't you know what it was so i reported the buyer to ebay 
You know where that got me? Somewhere between jack and squat. Nothing. I mean, at the end of the day, eBay doesn't care. They're, they're understanding that uh, there's going to be returns. They're going to protect the buyers in most cases. And I get protecting buyers to some degree. If an if a item is truly damaged or an item truly doesn't come or it's the wrong thing or whatever, there needs to be a course of action to allow the buyer to either get the correct item, get their money back, whatever. But there also has to be some burden of proof on the buyer to say, look, I got this and this isn't it. You know, it's not the right thing. It's not the way it was described, whatever. And there's not. Um, this literally came back to me as nice as I sent it out. And so the way that, and it's a total flaw. Forget the complete douchebagness of victory cards, Mitch Fortner, uh, to do it anyway. Uh, Dick move, you know, whatever. People are going to be that way. People are sleazy and, you know, they're money hungry and whatever. <clears throat> That's fine. Or it's not fine, but, you know, people are, are going to be that way. They're just, the eBay system just allows for that carte blanche with no repercussions, no responsibility. It's totally on the seller. And so there you go. I kind of got screwed. And a lot of people are going to say, well, that's the risk you run. You know, you should know better. You shouldn't trust people. Uh, you should know that that's not only likely to happen, probably going to happen. And I say, why? Why does that have to be the expectation that people are going to be bad and, and do the wrong thing? That shouldn't be the expectation at all. I have more faith in humanity than that. Maybe it's misplaced, but I do. And it really just burns me that uh, people can get away with that kind of stuff. And there's no accountability whatsoever. eBay takes no accountability. Uh, they basically just say, stick it, take it, you know, sorry. And this was several phone conversations with them. Uh, again, it was ridiculous. Just the run around and the trying to appease me with certain ways to say things. And it, it just didn't work. So now I have this card back. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. Um, I'm not as tempted to sell it at the current price levels because it's not as, it's not, I mean, again, I, I bought the card originally because I wanted the card and it just got so crazy price wise that I felt like, man, I can turn that into some really cool cards into my, for my collection that I like more, simply put. And so <clears throat> I know a lot of you are just going to say, well, that's what you get and that's the risk you run and you know, I'm just, I'm just not that uh, okay with it. I'm not that, I'm not resigned to just take it up the ass. I'm just not, it's no fun. And I know a lot of people have experienced this and a lot of people have been through that. And so it's just really soured me on the whole thing, on the whole idea of selling cards that way. And so there are other platforms to sell cards on. Again, I don't know what I'm going to do with this card. I have a bunch more coming. I still don't have in hand. I have eight more cards that are, I'm still waiting on uh, to come through. Uh, I brought them, bought them all through Twins Jake. So still waiting to get all of those. And I'll probably just keep them all, I guess, at the end of the day. Um, for that card, I paid 20 bucks. So that's kind of what I got in it. And I bought it directly from Top. So there you go. It's not the end of the world. But... It just burns me that people can get away being that way, you know. So that's it. Uh, that's the conclusion of that saga. And starting tomorrow, I think I'm going to have a nice little mail day. I can start going back to normal doing that. But I just wanted to kind of tie the bow on that little storyline of what was going on. And thanks for hearing me out. Let me know what you think down below. Uh, I'm sure none of us are surprised at the outcome that it ended up going against me as the seller. Uh, not surprising at all, but I kind of thought I had a way by saying I would replace the item that I could get away with it or at least have an angle to win and I, it didn't work. So <clears throat> that is that. Hope you guys have a great rest of your week and we'll talk to you soon. Keep collecting.